crayons are always a fun medium to use. So they're wax with color in them. Uh, most popular brand is, of course, Crayola. Uh, what a lot of people do is they'll do a drawing first and use black lines and then color in. It has kind of an unnatural sort of look about it. So if you wanted to create something like, you know, an apple, why not do the outline with the same color that you want to color it in? That way, once you color in, you're not going to notice that outline anymore, um, but you still have it there as a guide. Notice when I'm coloring in, I'm starting at the edge, I'm using small parallel strokes to color in. This keeps my work super neat. So I'm going to speed this up so you can see me finish coloring in the apple. Now that I've got it colored in, I can do something like shading. I could shade with the same color just by pressing a little bit harder and maybe I can make it look shaded on that side. But I could also blend in another color, maybe a blue, and overlap it and that will also make it look darker on that side as well. Crayons are kind of nice that they do actually blend by putting one on top of the other to create the illusion of shadows and highlights. So I'm going to do that now for you and we'll speed up and intensify my colors. I'm going to overlap with a little bit of yellow as kind of a highlight or a shine on my apple. Go ahead and throw in a leaf if I wanted to, and because my leaf and stem are going to be green, I could go ahead and use green as my outlining color. And I'm going to use a little black to even intensify my shadows even more. So by blending my colors, by coloring in neatly, I can get a really nice effect out of regular old crayons.